I'm Laura Mae Martin with Google, and I'm here today with Sinead Beauville, futurist and founder of Way. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me. Can you tell me a little more about your company, Way, weekly advice for young entrepreneurs? Way is a tech education company uh, that primarily focuses on educating the next generation for a future that's radically transformed by technology. Um, but in a, in a more efficient way to say it, we are just trying to make tech information more accessible and more digestible. The world of technology is moving at such a fast pace and more standard kind of institutions, more standard education institutions, it's hard to keep up. Um, so we believe it's really important to equip young people with the tools to make decisions about their future, to participate in these conversations about technology. And can you tell me more about your work as a futurist? The name sounds a lot more fancy and cool than maybe it is. It's largely taking a lot of qualitative and quantitative data points and using that to build forecasts about where the future may be headed. Uh, and to give you an, you an idea of some of those data points, so it would be something like patents a company has been filing, tracking those over the years, then tracking all of the job postings that they've been you know, sharing to different things that they're sharing on social media, to the kind of pulse of, of society, to build out forecasts as to where emerging technologies may be going and who's leading that charge. Um, and it would cover everything from a brain computer interface uh, to, to memories that we're able to store, uh, to our future without smartphones, to space exploration, uh, the fun and amazing world of synthetic biology. So all areas of emerging technologies are, are largely covered in our private consulting practice. Uh, we would build out forecasts for where that industry is headed. Um, and for, for any company, for example, you know, how does something like humans going to space or commercializing space impact your line of work? So whether you are a clothing manufacturer um, or a furniture designer, if in 10 years the market will also include space, are you positioning for that? Um, and if so, how? And how can business leaders incorporate ethical and responsible tech practices into their organizations? First and foremost, every company is largely a tech company. Even if you're not selling technology uh, products or services, if you use AI, maybe for recruiting, maybe for your website, um, there are ethical responsibilities that come with that, uh, which means you do need to be thinking like a tech company in, in that way. It starts with recognizing that it shouldn't just be tech people in the rooms where we're coding the future. You know, a lot of the issues I think we see in technology today um, are, weren't you know, intended to cause harm. I think we just didn't think far enough out with how these technologies could impact society. Uh, and now we're almost in repair mode. So I think we need historians, ethicists, social psychologists, all sorts of people uh, in these rooms where we're building and deploying tech that can make sure that we get it right and how it impacts society um, beyond just you know, the business model uh, generating profit from, from the technologies that we use. And what emerging technologies do you see playing a role in the future of work? I would say augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality, uh, and wearables, I think are gonna play quite a profound role in the future of work, especially augmented reality, because um, we're embarking on largely the next evolution of computers, uh, which is one that will eventually take us away, uh, or from computing, sorry. So it will be one that will eventually take us away from our screens, things like our smartphones and our laptops. Uh, and it would be technologies like augmented reality uh, combined with something like the internet of things and artificial intelligence, uh, which means objects around us will be smart. We'll be able to overlay the digital world on top of our physical world which I think is going to make work really exciting, really interesting. Uh, we'll unravel all new sorts of data points. Um, you know, remote work could be a little bit more like a hologram um, and less like a, a computer avatar kind of floating on a screen. I really can't say enough about our future with AI. We are stepping into an era um, that I would call AI for everything. Uh, where AI is going to be assisting us in pretty much any task that you do on a computer, uh, whether that's making music and writing lyrics to coding, to summarizing a research paper, to writing an email, 
you can expect to have an AI teammate assisting you with those tasks. And there really isn't a profession I can think of that won't be impacted. Well, thank you so much for being here today. I really enjoyed speaking with you. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure. 